dear students this video deals with partial hydrogenation of alkynes and the formation of cis and trans alkene so let's get started when the functional groups are present on the same side of the double bond of the alkenes it's cis configuration so functional groups they are on the same side on the other hand when the functional groups are present on the opposite side of the double bond of the alkenes it's trans configuration you can remember it by the word transparent you can see across the transparent glass so when the functional groups they are across the double bond or they are on the opposite side it's trans configuration now addition of hydrogen to a carbon carbon double bond is called hydrogenation hydrogenation addition of hydrogen the controlled hydrogenation of alkynes with hydrogen gas in an equimolar ratio over heated catalysts give alkenes that is the triple bonds they are converted to double bonds hydrogen gets adsorbs on the surface of transition metals like nickel palladium and platinum this catalytic hydrogenation is conventionally used to remove unsaturation but this is quite powerful and it will convert alkynes directly to alkanes that is from triple bond to single bond now let's see formation of cis alkene before discussing it you must know that to prevent the conversion of alkynes to alkanes the catalyst is poisoned now let's see what lindner catalyst is it is used to stop the reaction at alkenes starting from alkynes the catalyst uses palladium and it is poisoned with calcium carbonate lead acetate and quinoline let's see the formulas calcium carbonate lead acetate and quinoline they poison the catalyst so the effectiveness is diminished the effectiveness of the catalyst that is palladium is diminished okay a catalyst becomes poisonous when its effectiveness starts diminishing in the presence of another chemical substance which is called as catalyst poison so poisoning the reactivity means the catalyst is powerful enough to reduce the first pi bond but do not affect the second one If you check out the stereochemistry just as in conventional alkene hydrogenation both hydrogen atoms are delivered in syn fashion and produce cis alkene so lindler catalyst they produce cis alkenes now the catalytic hydrogen mechanism as i've shown you earlier the hydrogen gets adsorbed on the metal surface this is a flat surface as it is sp2 hybridized and the two flat surfaces approach each other so the hydrogen gets attached to this in a fashion that they gets attached on the same side or on the same face like you can see hydrogen atom is transferred to the alkene here and then the second hydrogen is transferred to the alkene here now two hydrogen atoms have added to the same face of the double bond in the syn addition so the product product is cis exactly you can imagine like this is alkyne and in the case of poisoned catalyst we get alkene which is cis it will be having cis configuration so it is syn addition now you can see the reaction this is an alkyne and the hydrogen of hydrogenation of alkyne in the in the presence of the lindler catalyst is you can see here produces cis alkene now let's see the formation of trans alkene treating an alkyne with sodium in liquid ammonia at minus 33 degree centigrade produces trans alkene so in this case the chemicals used are sodium in liquid ammonia repeat after me sodium in liquid ammonia let's see the mechanism sodium transfers an electron to the alkyne giving a radical anion as you can see here it transfers an electron here and gives a radical anion this is radical and this is anion electron repulsion of the single electron and the lone pair forces them to be trans to each other and this defines the stereochemistry of the product which must be trans you can see here that these two are repelling each other and they are trans to each other as far apart as possible radical anion removes a proton from ammonia this removes a proton from ammonia and hydrogen gets attached here 
second sodium transfers electron to give alkenyl anine which again removes proton from ammonia giving transalkene as you can see here this sodium this transfer electron here and again this anion it takes proton from ammonia and produce transalkene so this is how transalkene is produced i hope this video was helpful if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe thanks for watching wish you all the best